Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to another vlog. I've been filming a morning routine this morning, so we're only starting the vlog now. Um, it's currently 20 to 1. I've just finished editing. We've had a productive morning. <laughs> if you saw the, I'm not sure if it's gone up or it's gonna go up. We had a nice productive morning, got up, went to the gym, filmed, edited, and now we are here. I'm gonna go change my outfit. Ooh. I'm gonna change my outfit because I'm gonna pop out and I mean I could definitely go out in this but um, I think I'm gonna put some cargoes on because I always wear joggers and I might actually film a TikTok get ready with me. I actually love filming on my camera at the minute so I record on the Sony ZV-1 and I just obviously flip it portrait um, and the quality is just so much better and then I edit it on my Mac like it was a YouTube video like Final Cut Pro and just airdrop it to my phone. Um, I just think TikToks. I'm trying to put the effort into TikTok, guys. I might keep this hoodie on. I think I'm just going to put some cargoes on and some trainers. The weather's so deceiving at the minute. I went out yesterday with some friends and it was like pure blue sky sun, but it was so cold still. Like, it's so windy. I feel like it's been windy this whole year. I swear England is never normally this windy, but I mean, we move. Anyway. I'm gonna get dressed, but I hope you guys are well. Welcome back to another little, I say day in the life, but we're halfway through the day, but there's a lot I wanna get through in this vlog. So hopefully it's a nice little lengthy one, cause I get the idea that you guys prefer that. Um, so hopefully we can make a bit of a lengthy vlog, but enjoy it. Let's go get some cargoes and get dressed. Right, <laughs> I am kind of, well, pretty much wearing the same thing I was just wearing, but I've just got cargoes on, which definitely need a, iron but you know what's fine and then I've just got my Adidas Sambas on which I got these off the Adidas website luckily I have the notifications turned on and they are literally the best shoes ever but oh yeah I'm back I'm not sure I think this is ASOS from a while ago just gonna upload a video to YouTube um, and then head out I'm gonna go grab some lunch uh, I want to pop to Asda do you know what I want to go try together the new Starbucks drink um, I need to pick up what it's called is it like the dragon fruit something um, I really want to go try that so we'll go we'll go try that out as well but I am gonna go get some lunch because we don't have much food wise in the house we have hello fresh for dinner which I'm so excited about we have got Hello Fresh for dinner tonight, which I am so excited about. I'll pop a little timestamp on the screen now so you guys can see what it looks like when it's finished. I'm so excited to be working with HelloFresh again. They've kindly sponsored this little section of the video. If you didn't know what HelloFresh is, I mean, I'm sure we all know what HelloFresh is by now. I absolutely love them. It is a food delivery service that sends the ingredients to your meals straight to your door. So you go on the website, you pick what meals you want. There's so much to choose from. There's different categories as well, which I really like. There's like um, family favorite, street food, that's always a yum one. Uh, the rapid ones, which are like quick and easy ones. This has been great for me. You guys know my boyfriend has um, gone into the office now. He works in the office and I've taken it upon myself to do the cooking in the week, attempt to. Um, and where he's always done the cooking in our relationship, my skill set isn't very, uh, it's not great, okay? It's not great, but HelloFresh makes it super quick and easy for me. I literally have all the ingredients in front of me. They're obviously weighed out as well. The portion size uh, for us is great. We obviously pick for two people, but you pick depends on how many people you're cooking for and I just have to follow the recipe card and it makes it so quick and easy with it being easy it's also affordable on top which is a win-win situation portion starting from £3.15 per person deliver straight to your door and that's not even including the discount code that I've got for you guys which is HF Amber and that is going to save you 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two whole months two months you can get what like eight boxes with that and Free gifts on top. We're in the car. It's actually warm to be fair. I actually, like yesterday, we, the sun was shining, went out, and I was freezing, but probably because I'm in the car, it's really warm. Um, but I'm gonna go get a Subway. I really fancy a Subway. I don't fancy a McDonald's or anything like that. So I'm gonna go get a Subway, um, and I need to pop into Asda because we need some coffee pods. Um, Asda's actually opposite Subway, so that works. That works out well. 
but um, yeah, I need to figure out what that Starbucks drink is because I really like this is the perfect day to get one as well. Like, I really fancy a refreshing drink, so we'll get one of those. I purposely parked in a really far, far away bit to get the steps in. Um, I'm gonna go get some, I'm just gonna go to the Starbucks inside Mary Hill rather than the drive through um, because it's just quicker, so much quicker. Um, Subway, go get that new Starbucks drink and go get some coffee pods. I feel like I need to clean in. I'm not going to be in them, I really can't be bothered. I'll just pick up, I just need some um, scent boosters and I'll just get those from Asda. <sighs> Guys, I used everything within me not to drink this. I'm so thirsty as well and look how refreshing it looks. I haven't tried it. Um, it's boiling. But I feel like this isn't summer. I feel like after today it's like raining every day. Oh gosh, that's better. I can't wait to not have a black car anymore because they're not fun. But I got, let's have some. I, I need to try it before I show you my subway. I need to try this drink because I'm so thirsty. I got it with lemonade by the way. That is so good. I don't know if it's because I'm really thirsty and it's cold and it's refreshing. Oh my god, that's insane. It tastes a bit like squash to be fair. Like I don't have the fizz from the lemonade. I expect it to be fizzy, but I don't think it is. But it's still so good though. Love that. Then just got a subway. I get a really weird one. When I was younger, I used to have chicken, and then we had one in London, and I got food poisoning. I was only like 14, but I remember it. So now I get turkey instead. The only time we ever have turkey is literally on Christmas Day or from Subway. But six inch hearty Italian with cheese, turkey, cucumber, and jalapenos. Oh, I normally have sweet corn. I forgot about the sweet corn. But here it is. Just a lovely, I love sandwiches. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating. Got some um, cheesy Doritos. So I'm gonna sit and eat this and blast the air con because it's it's bacon. She got some flowers, although I kind of squished them in the bag, which is not good. I also got these cookies from Asta, spoke about them before. Best cookies ever, and we actually haven't had them for a while, um, so I know Dan's going to be busy. <laughs> Then got some more coffee pods. These are the ones we get. Uh, they're just the Starbucks ones. And then this had three pounds off it. A couple of guys, it was five pounds, which for this is really, really good. And that was from Asda. But I've got some worky bits to do. I need to make a thumbnail for a video. Um, film two TikToks for a brand. And then I'm gonna make a fat cup of tea, maybe even have one of those cookies, and sit and have a chat with you guys. That was the whole point of me vlogging today, rather than it being like a day in the life. Um, sorry, I need this. <laughs> yeah, rather than it being like a day in the life, I actually did want to sit and chat to you guys. So we'll go and do that. Nothing. Don't worry, I'm not. Nothing's happened, just a bit of like a, I don't know, I feel like I just haven't sat and spoken about, almost me, I always do day in the lives and speak about what I'm doing that day, but I feel like I haven't actually spoken about me in a while, um, I just wanted to touch on it, so I'm going to get my work bits done, I want to aim to be done by three, it's 25 past two now. Just in case anyone was interested in this, I'm about to film some TikToks uh, for a campaign and this is how I'm doing it. This is how I'd like to do my TikToks now.
it's just better quality just a little bit better quality hello guys um you probably think you look a little bit different that is because i it's the next day and i'm so annoyed i got to like three four o'clock like the clip you just watched did everything i needed to do and i was like right i'm gonna sit down and just like catch up with you guys but didn't like the lighting um i was tired and i was like do you know what i'm gonna do like wake up early tomorrow and do this i was making dinner with dan last night and i was like my throat's sore now i'm ill it's mad how quickly you just get ill like i was fine yesterday like all day yesterday i was fine up until like dinner time uh, and I don't get sore throats and I currently have like the worst sore throat ever and I feel like when you never get them It's a little bit painful. Uh, so this is probably the worst time to do a chatty video, but I've got a cup of tea <laughs> So the all problems are solved, but I just wanted to sit and chat, you know I feel like I've been really out of touch with like the personal side of my YouTube channel I feel like I used to be so personal. I used to tell you guys everything and then do you, know what, do you know what the truth is? I'll tell you what the truth is. I tried to be aesthetic and that's when I really lost my personality and it's actually quite sad if I think about it because I was watching all these other YouTube videos and I was like, oh, their videos are so aesthetic, like their lives are really put together and this is how much of a lie YouTube is, like even YouTubers themselves fall for it and I was like, oh, I'm going to be aesthetic. Um... And I want my videos to look all nice and pretty and aesthetic and and I really feel like I cut out my silly side for it because I was like oh I'm like my goofy silly side like I really stopped that and then I just got comments like oh my god you seem so sad are you okay I wasn't sad I was just trying to be aesthetic like for god's sake what a mess um and scrap that scrap being aesthetic you know scrap it but also like I've really struggled with vlogging recently and I've sat and i've spoken to dan about this um and i'll tell you why i've struggled to vlog in because i worked at dorothy perkins in 2019 i quit my job at dorothy perkins in 2019 the november had a few months living life we went into lockdown i obviously carried on vlogging and filming in lockdown but everyone was in the same boat and everyone was like working from home unless you were like frontline everyone was working from home or furloughed and we were all kind of in the same boat, right? And then lockdown finished, moved out, so then did like moving vlogs and that was so, so fun. And now I just like, I edit a day in the life and I feel guilty because I'm like, I, I don't want this to come across the wrong way at all, but like, I'm so lucky that this is my job. Uh, and it feels wrong to call it a job because I've, I've never wanted to call it a job. I've always said it's a hobby. But like all my day in the life, so I'm never going out to work. It's just, it's not real life, is it? It's not real life. Like my vlogs are probably a lot more real back in the day where I was like, guys, like I've got work at 10. Like really, do you know what I mean? My vlogs would have been a lot more real. Um, so the amount of times I've edited and it's like, Amber, you've just gone to the shops and showed this and showed that. Like you haven't actually done anything. And I'm not going to go get a part-time job for the sake of my YouTube channel like that. Just that doesn't seem right. Like, I know I'm lucky that this is my job, but I just have this guilt. Uh, I don't know where it's coming from, but I just feel guilty. And I'll be editing a vlog and I'm like, no, you can't put that on the internet. So that's why my upload schedules have been a bit like here, there and everywhere. And I just want to sit down and chat and be vulnerable. Um, this is when it backfires and I just get a load of hate, but we're going to be vulnerable for the next five or ten minutes. I've started posting on Instagram more, like, I fell out of love with Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so fake, because I remember in lockdown, um, me and Dan would go on our walks, and I'd, like, dress up really nice just to get an Instagram picture. I feel like I've just been really fake, so then I just stopped uploading on Instagram, I was like, oh, you'll see, like, if you get on my Instagram, it's literally just when I'm on holiday, and that's it. Um, because nine times out of ten, like, today, I'm just sat in track suits, uh, hair scraped back greasy haven't washed it do you know what i mean but recently i've started posting on instagram more like what i've been up to and like i love photo dumps and just stories and i feel a lot more in touch with you guys like i feel relevance not the word that i'm just really not the word i'm after but it's just showing my life more again i just feel like i've stopped it for like the past couple years and i've only just realized that now but yeah recently i've just been posting more um and it's made me really happy really really, really happy and i've started just showing a bit more of my hobbies i've never really spoken about this on youtube i have like here there and everywhere and if you follow me here there and everywhere here and here and now i've spoken about it 
if you follow me on TikTok, um, you'll see I've spoken about it quite a bit on there recently. But I'm really, like, my hobby, I freaking love women's football. I used to love football. Like, being in a relationship with Dan, I didn't really have a choice but to love football. Like, this boy watched it all the time. He watches everything. F1, cricket, football, honestly, any sport he watches. So I was like, I'm going to have to pick him on one of them. Picked up on football. Then the Euros happened last year and I was like, do you know what? Support the women instead. <laughs> like... Women supporting women, like I'm definitely going down the women's football route, and I absolutely love it. I'm not bringing it onto YouTube though, because I appreciate that it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. I'm really happy I've fallen into it. Like it's actually really nice to have a hobby outside of YouTube, because YouTube's always been my hobby. I never like calling it a job. I've always said it's a hobby, um, and it's nice to have a different hobby other than what I do five days a week. And it's just made, it's almost made me fall in love with YouTube again because I think it's taken like the pressure off YouTube's a job, you need to upload this many times a day and it's just made me love YouTube a lot more. If you are into women's football, uh, I'm talking about it a lot more on TikTok. Like I say, I'm not bringing it over onto the YouTube channel. But I think it's just nice to share my hobbies. I never ever spoke about it because I was like, nobody likes football. Um, people are going to think I'm weird. And it pisses me off that I thought like that. I was like, get a grip. Honestly, I'm a get a grip. Life's way too short to care what people think. And I'm sat here saying it, but I think about it so much. It, it'd be similar. If you've ever wanted to start a YouTube channel or you've ever wanted to start TikTok and you care what people think, that's exactly how I felt about putting my hobby for women's football on TikTok. When I uploaded that first video like a week ago, um, I had a meet my manager and he was like, do it, do it, do it. And like, he really like, motivated me I was like I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do it but honestly filming it and posting it it was like posting my first YouTube video again because I was so because it's so different I was like what are people gonna think of me am I gonna lose all my followers and it's exactly the same feeling if you're sat there and you want to start a YouTube channel or you want to start a TikTok channel but I'd still say do it <laughs> now I'm living it but I'd still say do it like life is way too short and this is what I've realized like recently and I think this is why I'm so happy again is I've just realized a lot that like life is so short it is so short I don't know if it's me turning 24 and I'm thinking I was literally 17 last week how am I 24 life's way too short to care what people think and I always I say it to all my friends I say it to Dan my biggest fear is being like little old me hopefully I live to see little old me sat by myself imagine this sat like in your rocking chair by yourself and you regret you regret your life because you didn't do what you wanted to do yeah i think about it a lot and i'm like do you know what scrap what people think and people probably are thinking the thing that is the thing like i saw this tiktok and it's like people what you're thinking what you're overthinking about what other people think they're probably not even think they're not even thinking about you don't be so big headed. I don't know what day this is going at, but here's your daily motivation to just F what people think and do what you want to do. So whether that is starting a YouTube channel or a TikTok or quitting your job to go and pursue something that you really want to do, do it. Honestly, do it. Life's way too short. I feel like the old Amber's coming back. She used to be, she used to be so motivational. I would love to have a chat with like, 17 year old me because she was such like an epic girl like just do it i feel like we're slowly getting there and even just me now sat in a, sat here being real not showing you guys what i've bought recently or what i'm doing today like just genuinely sitting and having a chat it's really really nice it's just like a comfort thing for me i feel like we're back in the old days um because i used to sit in my bedroom at my parents house doing this all the time i used to just sit and ramble and then i feel like i just fell so out of touch with it and lost the personal side to my youtube channel but we're back. Honestly, I'm so happy at the minute. I just feel really content is the best way to describe it. Dan being in the office, I love it. It's like, we don't text really in the day now. Like he'll come home and it's nice to just sit and like, we don't even watch telly. I'm like, Dan, I don't wanna watch telly. Like, can we just chat? Like we haven't spoke all day and it's really, really nice. I'm so much more productive. I have so much more almost routine. It's really nice having a hobby as well, like, outside of YouTube, like, watching football out on the weekends, me and Dan, like, at least once a month are, like, going somewhere, normally in London, to go watch a football game, um, and it's just so nice. I just feel like this is a good year. I keep 
we're halfway through the year next month can you believe that we're only just getting started though in my life um and i just think this is going to be a great summer we're going to manifest it and just be positive life's too short that's all i'm going to say life is way too short to have regrets and regrets is one thing that i don't want to have i just i feel content i'm not ready to i always get questions like when are you having kids like i think it's because a lot of youtubers are having kids at this point and like, I'm so not ready to have kids, guys. Like, if you're here waiting for, like, a pregnancy announcement, you're going to be waiting a very long time. Like, I'm definitely not at that point in my life. I've realised that. Um, and I used to get so overwhelmed and stressed by it. Like, I used to think, okay, maybe next year. End of next year, I'll be ready. But you just don't put a time scale on it. I'm just content living my life currently and living in the moment. I've always been a future girl and that used to annoy Dan. I used to be like, so when we do this, can we do this? And when we do this, can we do that? And Dan was like, just live in the moment. He's like, you're always thinking about the future and I've always done it my whole life. And I feel like for the first time ever, I'm living in the present and it's actually really, really nice. I spoke about this, I think it was in my morning routine. I was saying the thing that annoys me most about, I, I think everyone does it, but I'll say about me, is that um, you think, like, for example, like, when we bought this house, I used to imagine my life living in this house, and I was like, I will be so happy, and my life will be complete, and I won't want anything more, and then you get to that point, and that dream that you had becomes a reality so then you want more it's just the way of life you constantly want more and that's the same as like just constantly thinking into the future time's going way too quick like the future's coming around way too quick so now i'm just living in the present and i'm really happy doing that but that's what i've got to say i just wanted to sit and basically ramble i just miss doing it it's probably really annoying for you guys but um thanks for listening i feel like i just had a counseling session to be fair so thanks for listening um and yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and i'll uh hopefully catch up again with you guys soon this is what we've got for dinner tonight pulled pork tacos i'm so excited about this got the ingredients i'm just gonna start just start cooking it and see how as i mentioned only like the different categories this is a street food and i love how it has how long it's gonna take but yeah let's cook dinner How good do these look? Oh, how am I to wrap them? I don't need space at the bottom. Unless we just do it like a taco instead. Aren't they tacos? I thought that's what they were. Are they? They are tacos. That's the whole point, sir. Oh yeah, true. We're currently watching the night agent on... I was going to say on TikTok. No, we're not watching on TikTok. On not YouTube either. Netflix. It is really, really good. I feel like it's one of the... Me and Dan are always so late to everything we've watched after everyone else has. Um, but if you haven't watched it yet, it is definitely worth, worth the watch. I've also got a really sore throat all of a sudden. Which is never good. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair because honestly, I don't know when the last time I washed it was. I cannot remember. I think it was like six days ago. Um, I just noticed I was washing my hair like every four days, three, four days, and then just tying it up. It's like, what's the point? Anyway, it does need washing. I can just feel that it needs washing. Um, and I'm gonna try this. I picked it up in the last vlog. Don't know how good it's gonna be. I just um, don't really use Dialoplex every hair wash because it's expensive. Um, and we like to save that stuff. So I'm gonna just try this uh, and hope for the best. Sulfate free, which is obviously good, but then I don't like it when they don't foam because I feel like it's not washing my hair properly. Guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. It is the next day. You would have seen me say in the middle of this video that I was so ill. I just went ill last night. 
I'm such a baby as well, like, as soon as I get a sore throat, I'm like, I'm going to bed, I'm having an early night. Um, and that I did, and here we are now. Um, I'm going to go buy some lem sips and hope for the best, but um, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed just having that little chat with you guys. Um, I just want my YouTube channel to become a little bit personal again. Um, I really have that personal touch, but, um, yeah, I appreciate you watching, especially if you are still here now, like, honestly, everyone that comes back and watches my videos, people, like, the people that come back and comment on my videos, like, I recognise your names, I know who you are, and it, you, it warms my heart when I see your comments every single time that you keep coming back and watching my videos, because I appreciate they've not always been good, okay? They've not always been the best videos, but you've still come back and you've still commented and you've still been so lovely. Um, so thank you. I really appreciate you to everyone that watches my videos. Getting a little bit cringe now, so we're going to stop. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all soon for another video. Of course, everything to do with HelloFresh as well. It's going to be linked down below in the description box. Um, go save yourself some money. Our food was so yummy. Loved it all. We had hot dogs the other night. If you come across those, definitely recommend getting those ones. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you soon.